And now, World Improv Network proudly presents Community Court. When two parties cannot solve it as pure, no. Community Court is there to solve the problem. See? All right, all right, everyone. Um, please give it up for the most honorable Judge Harold Highbrow. Yes, yeah, thank you, thank you. Oh, everyone, please calm down. Calm down in my courtroom. All Hi, right. Judge. Oh, hello, Playlift. How's it going? It's good. Um, finally to meet you. I brought um gift. Because um, oh. William's not here, so I brought you a nice custom Easter Velveeta loaf. Oh, well, thank you so much, Bailiff. Uh, you know, I I received word that, you know, our previous judge was big on that Velveeta, and I was hoping to get some. So what a pleasant surprise here today, folks. <laughs> well, I'll be sure to bite into that Velveeta on a and bit guess here. guess what, Judge? Yes. A little um, secret. It's been aged 17 years. <laughs> well, no freaking way. Oh, yes, yes, audience, calm down. Yes, this is exciting Velveeta times for us. Well, uh, let's uh, put the Velveeta aside for now, and I'll uh, come back to that later, I'm sure. Let's uh, get to our case today. It's a pretty interesting one, it seems. Uh, says here that we have uh, our plaintiff here, Mrs. Uh, Stephanie Jobs, it seems. Uh, uh, Jobs, actually, Your Honor. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Stephanie Jobs, uh, CEO of Apple Corporation. Calm down now, audience. Guys, he called an idiot. Should I stick Spike on him? No, let's uh, give him some time to make amends for himself. <laughs> yes. Hey, you, Spike, calm down there, buddy. I know I'm not your owner, but I've worked with dogs before. That's right, Spike. Get ready if needed. Very well, Mrs. Jobs, Stephanie Jobs, CEO of Apple, you are suing a former employee of yours? Yes, sir. Yes, Judge Highbrow, I certainly am. Yes, and you're saying that this employee used a fake intellectual ID yes. to get a job at the Apple Genius Bar? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I am. Well, uh, how did you first discover this employee has been using a counterfeited intellectual ID? Well, I first, I became suspicious initially when he was uh, listed under the name of Albert Einstein, you see. I immediately rang some bells. I thought, who would name their child Albert Einstein? I see. Well, I name you Albert Einstein because I came. Uh, now, calm down, Mr. Einstein. I'm just about to get to you. <sighs> As you can see, sir, Albert Einstein is not quite the Albert Einstein that we are expecting at the Genius Bar. Yes, well, I'll reserve my judgments for later. Uh, coming to you, then, our defendant, Mr. Albert Einstein, supposedly. Uh, you're saying that uh, you didn't use a fake intellectual ID, that this was indeed your true intellectual ID? Yes, it was. It was given to me in the forest. When I came out of the forest, I had this ID inside me, and I looked up at the trees and said, you are Albert Einstein. Sir, I have to object. I do apologize, but I must object. Uh, well, right, let's calm down. I'll get to the bottom of this. Mr. Einstein, you said when you came out of the forest, you had this ID. What forest was this exactly? It was the forest in the eastern Congo of Africa. I see. And uh, were you born and raised here? Were you lost here? I was brought here by a stork out of the forest, dropped down, and I saw the light and it said, Albert Einstein on the bottom of the bulb. That was me. I see. Uh, I see. Honestly, uh, Judge, this is ridiculous. Uh, Mrs. Jobs, um, we will... Come back to you for a moment. Mrs. Jobs, please tell us what you did when you fired Mr. Einstein here. How did you terminate him? Well, I, I pulled his record, as any good CEO would, and I reviewed it. And I came to the conclusion that he was no Albert Einstein. Get okay. ready, Spike. Get ready. Spike, we can Get calm that dog. down. Get that dog away from me, please. Uh, that, 
Spike, Spike, Spike stay away He's from our Sid. Please. good Spike. Thank you, Bailiff. You're uh, better with the dogs than I, I see. That's, that's discrimination. I never discriminated. I simply exposed him. Oh, enough arguing here. There's going to be no discrimination in my court. There's going to be no arguing, all right? Now, Mr. Einstein, you're saying that if this ID was accurate, do you have a copy of it for me to look at here? Yes. Hold on. Let me grab it from my chest here. Honestly, Judge, intellectual IDs do not come from chest hair. Oh. Yeah, well, let's not judge. <sighs> All right, I'm just going to take a quicker look at this here quickly. All right, well, Mr. Einstein, this does seem to be a true, true, legitimate ID, but I'm going to have to... Get a forensic analysis of this momentarily, and this may take a little while. In the meantime, while we get that looked at, uh, back to you, Mrs. Jobes. Uh, you said that you terminated him, you pulled his file, and found that he did not come from where he said he was. That's right. He couldn't even... That's what she said. Uh, thank you. Exactly. They get it. The, the, you understand, he couldn't even spell Einstein. Yeah, well, who Bagel. are... Uh, bagel. It, calm, no, bagel. Calm down, Mr. Uh, Einstein. It, it is not about bagels. I'm going to play devil's advocate here. I'm sure there's multiple spellings of Einstein. So, Mr. Einstein, would you mind coming up to the podium here quickly? Could you uh, just spell Einstein for me on this uh, slip of paper here? E, 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 Stein. All right, well, there certainly are a lot of E's in that spelling. Judge, honestly. Very well, all right. Bagel. Uh, Mr. Einstein, uh, there'll be time for bagels. There'll be time for bagel. food after this court case, all right? Plenty of Velveeta for everyone. We'll make sure we get it out oh, there. In the meantime, Mrs. Jobes. Yes, yeah, you, Judge Highbrow. It says here that you are suing... Mr. Einstein for a uh, defamation of the Apple name? A defecation, sir. Defecation. Oh, de are you meaning to imply that Mr. Einstein literally defecated on the Apple name? I don't mean to imply it, sir. That is exactly <laughs> why I'm charging. It's calm down, Lions. Calm down, Lions. We'll get to the, bo the bottom of this. Excuse my wording. Uh, Mr. Einstein, did you, in fact, defecate on the Apple name? I, at work, had to... Poop, uh, uh, fix iPad, and poop, uh, Thus the charges uh, of defecation. I like on. Apple, Granny Smith, Bagel, Einstein, everything. Uh. Yeah, baby! Um, well, this has brought a new light into this court case. Uh, Mrs. Jobes, uh, where was this, uh, Apple Store location that, uh, Mr. Einstein was working at? It was in the uh, play school lodge at uh, Fifth and uh, Tout. I uh, see. That's a pretty popular spot. A lot of people, foot traffic over there by the Apple store. Yes. And did we have any witnesses of, uh, of Mr. Einstein's uh, defecation? Uh, we did have a uh, large gathering uh, around the incident of, of defecation. We also uh, took the uh, uh, excrement to an analysis or, or to an analyst <laughs> and it w was uh checked for dna which did match with uh the alleged mr einstein I she, see. she cheated she took some of my <laughs> hair from my rear end <sighs> well, mr einstein you can calm down here i'm just getting word that our forensic analysis have gotten back the id that seemingly belonged to mr einstein uh, let me just sift through their results here quickly. Uh, well, Mr. Einstein, my uh, specialists have uh, reported that your ID is simply a, a piece of cardboard with the name Einstein written on it. Ha-ha! Bagel! Gone green! Recycle! Cardboard! Say it! Uh, say it, Judge. Say he's guilty. I'm gonna give you two last You can do chance, it! All right, uh... Five seconds or less, Ms. Jobes. Why is Mr. Einstein guilty? Defecation. 
One word, all needed. All right, Mr. Einstein, please defend yourself. Five seconds or less. E, 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 Stein. All oh. right. Well, I think I'm going to have to side with uh, Mrs. Jobes here on accounts of, well, defecation. And I believe there is security cam footage of that as well. Uh, Mr. Einstein, you'll receive uh, 13 years in prison for your uh, defecation. I hope that's suitable. <laughs> Hey, bachelors, bachelorettes, and everyone in between. Want to take a shot at love? Send the questions you would want to ask on a date to the win matchmakers during the break and see if you can help make the perfect match. Next on Mile High Sports Radio.